Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Metal Earth kit build. This one I'm very excited for. It's another kit that I've been waiting and waiting. We're going into the world of Doctor Who with the Blue TARDIS. I'm very excited to put this together. I don't know which Doctor this TARDIS goes to, which particular model this is. I don't really care. It's a Blue TARDIS. I'm excited to do it. Let's open it up and start to put it together. The TARDIS. Doctor Who, very excited, very excited. I was very excited about the Star Wars, but the TARDIS. BBC. Hooray. What do we have? We have instructions as usual. Looks like one piece of paper. This. Look at that. My goodness. They have come quite a ways with what they can do with these kits. I kind of expected the whole sheet to be blue and maybe a couple of silver pieces or, or a couple of black pieces. At first I didn't think they were going to do what they've done here with police box and black. I didn't think that was actually going to come through in the finished kit, but it has, obviously. And it's very exciting. But I figured pieces like that would be a separate sheet, like with Iron Man. But no, check that out. They've painted just the blue, and just the black, and we've got sort of gold here for, I believe it's the light. That is, that is pretty neat. Let's put that aside. Might do a close-up of that in a second. Or a minute, or, you know. Open up the instructions. We have one piece of paper with stuff on the back. If we start at page one. We have the usual Metal Earth 3D model kit. With an outline of the TARDIS and the model number. The little section about insertion tabs, folds, insertion holes, linear nose pliers being helpful for assembly. And we have the blue circle, the legend. Blue circle means to insert and bend tabs 90 degrees. The green triangle insert and twist them 90 degrees, which usually makes a more secure connection. And then we have this, which is somewhat new. I've seen it a few times before. If you see an E pointing at something that's talking about or pointing at the engraved side, any points at the non engraved side. And this is just an attention point that may give you some tips on putting the part together. And then if we move down, we see the layout of the sheets and the numbers for the individual parts. And I'm just going to hold that a little bit closer because look at that. That is just wild, huh? What they've done there. And this isn't holes for the windows, it's actually a solid piece. And again with this. Okay. Oh. But if we flip this over, we start with part one. Actually, I'm going to go back because it looks like 19 is the highest part. So there's not a lot of different parts to this. But anyway, flip it over, begin of the assembly flowchart. Starting with parts one, two, three. Looks like you make the flashy light on top first. And then four and five. Can you just. As usual, follow the arrows snaking through the instructions. Do that again because I didn't have it on screen. And then we open up. We have page three. Continue on following the arrows, putting together the parts. And then over to page four. And you just finish the kit up. And ta da, you're ready for. Travel in time and space. Tools that I will use in this build. I have my standard set of tools. We have the long needle nose pliers. We have the flat nose pliers. Great for a multitude of bending and twisting and grabbing. We have clippers. I um, absolutely have to have clippers. It helps get the parts off the trees quite easily. I have a set of precision tweezers. 
with one with very pointed end, one has had the pointed end ground down slightly, and a flat set. And I have a fairly standard set of tweezers that actually came in one of the Iconics kits that I bought. When it comes to shape and parts, I have an assortment of different things to use. I have dowel rods that I've used for quite some time. A couple of them have had the ends sharpened with a pencil sharpener, which are great for making cone shapes. I have an inexpensive drill bit set with a lot of different sized bits to help with forming cylinder shapes. I also have a couple of step mandrels. I'm not saying you need all of this, but these are different tools that I've acquired and I kind of go back and forth depending on the situation. Bent nose pliers, very handy. Great for grabbing the edge of parts and bending them over when needle nose pliers won't do it by themselves or reaching in sometimes in strange areas and twisting taps. Something else that's good for shaping. I've got some round nose or ring pliers that have rounded noses on the tip and you can use these to slowly curve different areas wherever you need to, irregular curves, back and forth. These are great for minor little detailed shaping. Okay, we've got the very interesting sheets, the instructions, and basic tools to get me started. Let's put it together. With the top of the light, you will want to bend one flap up and in by itself first, then go around and one at a time, bend the next one over top and the next one over top of that. Because I bent them all up together, some of them caught on each other. They have to sort of be layered over each other.
The metal is really thin here. I was proceeding with caution, trying not to bend or warp the wrong thing. I decided to hold the thin metal in place while I used something else to push the tab over. Ah, what would a good metal earth kit be without seemingly impossibly small pieces? This video has been edited down. 
I've not shown all the different attempts, adjustments, or retries of this build. I also clip out parts where I am studying directions, searching for and clipping parts, and sometimes repetitive steps. It may make this kit look like it comes together easier than it did, but there are a lot of bending and adjusting of parts to make things fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. The bottom round piece of the door has to be small enough to fit in the circle at the base. It may take some extra work to get it quite right. I should have bent the tabs the other way. They would have wrapped around the slot and been more secure. Yeah, I had to do that. 
I give you the TARDIS. And all of it's a blue glory. Very excited about this, kids. Very excited about the Doctor Who kids, if you haven't noticed. Was, of course, excited about the Star Wars. Fairly excited about Star Trek. Big fan, but I wasn't too confident in those kids. But this box, a blue box from Metal Earth. Yeah, how can you go that wrong? I love this kit. I love it is a step beyond Iron Man and the Kawasaki Ninja where they've added a little color. This one, the sheets have different parts, different colors on the same sheet. And I really did not expect that. So I'm highly impressed and I'm highly pleased. And this looks wonderful. I mean, it's not a solid blue with silver pieces that is painted that way blue and silver on one part so that's really cool it did have some tedious parts it did take some time but in really it only took an hour and 20 minutes to put this together the doors do swing open although i can't say i'm fond of doing that a lot they have little hinges underneath and up top a little bit tricky to get but really it's not that hard it is a moderate kit probably maybe on the easy side of moderate if you're a doctor who fan you've done a few kits get the tardis this is awesome i can't wait to build the next ones can't wait to put a little dalek outside of here or maybe a canine sitting in front of it this is going to be a great start to a doctor who collection you can only hope that they will be more i'll leave it at that if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.